All right, welcome back once again mga kasambahay. Nandito pa rin po tayo sa Olivares Sports Complex para sa last play date ng first round eliminations ng UNCV Cup Season 6. Katatapos lamang po ng ating first game kung saan nanalo po ang DOJ Justice Boosters kontra Ombudsman Grab Busters Opo, sa score na tawag dito na lamang po ang DOJ Justice Boosters. And of course, eto po kasi masaya po ako dahil uh, last time o last week gusto ko po magpasalamat sa uh, Sir June Alfonso at sa pamunuan ng GSIS dahil nagbigay po sa amin ng napakalaking, hindi lang po basta payong, napakalaking payong po. Maraming maraming salamat. Sir June Alfonso po ng GSIS at sa lahat po ng bumubuo ng GSIS. At para sa ating mga kasambahay who just tune in, you can watch our games at www.untbweb.com At para lagi po kayong updated, follow nyo din po ang aming Facebook account and ating uh, Twitter account. At meron din po tayong YouTube channel. Yan po ang UNCV Sports. And before, ito po tayo. Pasasalamatan po muna natin ang TransCycle. San man patungo, san man mapadpad. Kasama mong abutin ang pangarap. Karamay mo sa hirap at ginhawa. TransCycle, panatag ka, sigurado ka. For inquiries, call 905-8888 or 0915-593. 2000. Ito po mga kasambahay, panoorin niyo po itong uh, segment na ito. Dahil last December 8 po ay muling naparangalan ang UNTV Cup ng anak TV SEAL na nagpapatibay na ang UNTV Cup po with its unique public service advocacy ay certified child-friendly. Panoorin po natin mga kasambahay. Mula pa noong 2012, marami nang natulungan ang Basketball League for Charity na binubuo ng iba't ibang government agencies, ang UNTV Cup. At simula noong 2014, kinilala ang UNTV Cup ng Anak TV na isang award-giving body na nagsusulong ng mga family-friendly at child-sensitive television program. Ang child-friendly kasi dapat makikita mo walang verbal abuse, Walang suntukan, walang sexual abuse, yung walang masyado makising sina. Yun, kasi ang dali gumaya ngayon ang mga bata. Kung ano nakikita nila, akala dahil pinalabas sa TV, okay na. Pero minsan kailangan din i-explain. Kaya dapat maging sensitive ang mga producer, director na hindi lang pera ang kikita iniisip nila. Tignan nila ano impact ito sa mga bata, sa mga kabataan. Yun po ang importante. At ngayong taon, ang Liga ng Public Servants na siyang konsepto ni Kuya Daniel Razon ay muling pinarangalan ng anak TV SEAL na nagpapatibay na ang UNTV Cup ay isang child-friendly TV program. Congratulations, UNTV Cup! Napaka-importante din kahit na sports siya. Sabihin natin, napaka-inspired ang mga bata. Maging idolo ang mga basketball star, football star, any athlete talaga magandang ehemplo. So it's a clear reminder sa mga athlete kung ano man game sinasalihan nila. They should also lead a very exemplary life. Tsaka dapat yung mga sport, wag yung mga may dugo, may patayan, mayroon ano, yung nasa saktan kasi nagagaya eh. Sa lahat po ng bumubuo ng UNTV Cup, sa pamumuna po ni Mr. Public Service, Kuya Daniel Razon, the man behind UNTV Cup, uh, we want to say thank you so much, uh, Anak TV, for this award. Uh, asahan niyo po na mas uh, pagbubutihin pa po namin ang uh, programa po ng UNTV Cup sa pagpapalabas po ng mga lahat ng mga bagay na kaya-aya po sa panoorin po ng mga ating mga kabataan. At sa Anak TV Seal na muling ipinagkatiwala sa programa, Ipagpapatuloy ng UNTV Cup ang public service at bukas nito at ang layuning makapagbigay inspirasyon at mabuting halimbawa para sa mga kabataan at sa ating mga kasambahay. Ito ang natatanging liga ng public servants, ang UNTV Cup. Alright, eto na po mga kasambahay. Hawak ko na po ang Anak TV Seal na binigay po ng Anak TV. Napaka... Sarap po sa kalooban, nakakataba po ng puso. Again po, gaya na po nang nabanggit ko kanina doon po sa segment, nagpapasalamat po kami una sa Panginoon. Pangalawa po uh, sa pamunuan po ng Anak TV 
na nagbigay po muli sa amin ng Anak TVC. Maraming maraming salamat po. And sa pangunguna po muli ni Kuya Daniel Razon, the man behind UNTV Cup, na lagi niya pong sinasabi na sa Diyos po lahat ng karangalan kapurihan. To God be the glory. Maraming maraming salamat, Anak TV. At muli po mga kasambahay, eto na po ang ating Game 2, ang labanan ng GSIS Furies at ng defending champion, the PNP Responders. Take it away, Eric and Coach Ronnie. Maraming salamat, uh, Ryan. Congratulations again, UNTV Cup, uh, with uh, that award na natanggap nila. Child-friendly. Definitely. And yun na ang klaseng action na pinapakita namin sa inyo dito. And uh, coming to you live from the Olivares Gym mula sa Olivares College along uh, Sukat uh, Paranaque Road. Ito po ang pangalawang laban ng ating triple header, BNP Responders, GSIS Furious Coach Johnny. Two teams tied. Three wins, two losses uh, dito sa Group A. Totoo yan. Ang ating Season 5 champions, ang PNP Responders, gustong mapigil yung kanilang two-game losing skid. Ito namang team ng GSIS Furies, last week eliminated itong kupunan ng uh, BFP Firefighters. And by virtue of that win, win or lose today, they will head into the second round. Kaya lang, it's all about positioning simply because uh, these two teams, together with the top two teams, ang Senate Defenders at ang AFP Cavaliers, will be bringing doon sa second round yung kanilang win-loss records. Ito yung ating kinukwento kanina, hindi man manalo ang GSIS Furies o sakaling manalo man sila, o hindi man manalo ang P-Responders o sakaling manalo man sila. At kung sino man ang tatabla sa firefighters, magkakaproblema rito ang team ng firefighters dahil sila nga ay hindi magwawagi sa kanilang uh, quotient system. Pero, kitignan natin yung sitwasyon dahil itong team ng PNP, ang kagandaan kasama ng Eric, tinalo rin nila ang firefighters. firefighters. So, naman na mangyari, kompleto na po ang ating cast, Senate, Cavaliers, PNP at ang GSIS ang tatawid sa second round. Ang BFP, luha ang nahagip na tisod nang sila hindi magwagi sa GSIS Furies. So positioning na lang po ang paglalabanan ng uh, parehong kapuna dito. Responders and Furies, kilala na natin yung uh, kanilang lineup okay. with Noel Villar. Welcome back to the Olivares Coliseum for today's second game. It's uh, the GSIS Furies up against the PNP Responders in the UNTV Cup Season 6. First round of the eliminations. Let us now meet the protagonists. Welcome in first, your GSIS Furies. Number zero, Aaron Suma. Number three, Dennis Muni. Number seven, Rene Boy Banzali. Number eight, Romeo De Luna. Number 13, Franklin Dorato. Number 14, James Abugan. Number 20, Paul De La Quadra. Number 24, June Alfonso. Number 32, Tristan Hernandez. And number 45, Michael Nuyana. Your head coach is Mike Sagigit. Now make some noise for your PNP responders. Number 4, Ola Nuumiping. Number 6, Japet Kabahug. Number 7, Abul Kair Bayabao. Number 8, Anton Tolentino. Number 11, Harold Desera. Number 12, Harold Santa Cruz. Number 14, Jerry Boy Saracho. Number 15, Ronald Abaya. Number 16, Kristen Elopre. Number 17, Jayman Mesola. Number 20, Ricky Cabrera. Number 21, Rodel Ugutan. Number 22, Julius Creste. Number 25, James Taksay. And number 26, Alejandro Yankeling. Your head coach is Eric Samson. Both teams, please meet at center court for the traditional sportsmanship handshake. Let's first call out the starters of your GSIS Furies. At center, number zero, Aaron Sunga. At guard, number seven, Rene Boy Bansali. At forward, number 13, Franklin Dorato. The other guard, number 32, Tristan Hernandez. And the other forward, number 45, Michael Nuyana. Check out now the starters of your PNP responders. At forward, number 4, Ola Numiping. At guard, number 6, Japet Kabahug. At center, number 12, Harold Santa Cruz. The other guard, number 14, Jerry Boy Saracho. And the other forward, number 21, Rodel Ugutan. Officiating this ball game are Julius David, Julius Medillo, and Noel Diodoco. 
UNTV Cup ang Liga ng Public Servants. Welcome po ulit sa mga kasambahay nating uh, nanonood. Ito pong first quarter ay hatid sa atin ng Black Mamba Energy Drink. Buhay na, buhay ka. Furies and responders sa maglalaban. Putahan natin si Ryan for this update. Alright, maraming maraming salamat Eric. Ang kasama natin ngayon, namiss natin to. Coach Eric Samson ng PNP Responders. Coach, you have a strong start sa umpisa ng Season 6. You have three straight wins, pero afterwards nagkaroon kayo ng dalawang sunod na talo. Ano po sa tingin nyo naging problem sa team at paano nyo po sinog yung problem na yun? Una-una, siguro uh, yung mental aspect ng players. So, doon kami tumutok eh. So, nagkaroon kami ng medyo incident na untoward incident, di ba? So, ginawa ko, pinausap sila, psychologically. And also, the same time ng PCRG, sinabihan din sila. So, uh, sabi ko, uh, we, get, we need to get back their confidence. Okay, para makabalik kami. At the same time, uh, laro, lang, laro lang kami. Para importante. Coach, recently, muling naparangalan po ng Anak TV ang UNTV Cup. At na-recognize ng ating programa as child-friendly bilang defending champion. Paano nyo po, ma paano po kayo makakontribute as a good example sa mga kabataang nanonood? Uh, definitely, we will, we will going to play fair. Okay? So that's why uh, maging example kami dun sa mga bata nanonood. Okay? So, yun ang gagawin namin. Coach, any message po, of course, siyempre, uh, pag-anniversary rin po yung at, uh, dating daan. Ano pong gusto nyo sabihin? Uh, oh, no po, uh, anniversary po, happy anniversary kay Kuya uh, Daniel at kay Brother Eli. And also, at the same time, uh, congratulations dun sa pag-award ng Anak TV. Congratulations. Continue to support uh, UNTV. Right. Okay. Maraming salamat, Coach, and good luck po sa game. Coach Eric Samson ng PNP Responders, back to you, Eric. Maraming salamat, Ryan. Coach uh, Eric Samson. At ang uh, kanyang PNP responders, Coach Ronnie, five to nothing run. Saracho and uh, Kapaho with a two and a three respectively. Sabi ni Coach Eric, gusto niya bumalik ang pampiyansa at paniniwala ng PNP responders. But the reality is, they lost to two tough teams. Probably, um, you can consider as contenders. Talo sa Senado ng Walaw, 68-56. At dumapa rin sa AFP 192 sa kanilang huling laban. And today against GSIS, a team that finished in the 11th spot in Season 5. They want to get back on track and they have built once again a 5-point lead on a 3 out of 4 shooting clip in the first minute and 30 ng ating unang quarter. Santa Cruz with the last basket para sa PNP. Pero kung Johnny tama ka dun, no? Wala, walang ikakahiya dun sa dalawang ano. You lost against the number one team, right. Senate. And then, against your nemesis na AFP, eh, talaga namang, uh, you know, hindi, hindi, uh, kung sino-sino lang yung tumalo sa kanila. Ito, yan. Marahil ang uh, hindi nila gusto. Kasi sila yung nag-champion sa season 5. That's eh. right. Yun lang. Dalawang sunod. But they have to understand, other teams have uh, added a deeper arsenal, deeper artillery. Sila, same lineup. Samantala, ang uh, BFP as uh, Banzali. BFP, katakot-takot ang uh, inabot sa GSIS. So, kanilang, kumbaga, parang uh, elimination uh, match, Eight. ano? Oo, oh, totoo yan. Si Abugan scored over 30 points in that win. Banzali was the steadiest perimeter player for them in that critical uh, face-off laban sa firefighters. We were, we were on a three-game winning run only wow. to lose their final game of the first round and bow out of competition. Imagine mo, isang buwan hindi natatalo, sabay na harap sa GSIS at sila ay hindi natatawin. Oh, no. May isang kulang na player ngayon sa GSIS, yung pinakamatangkad at pinakamalakas na sentro nila, si Anthony Cuevas. Hernandez in and out. Two against three here. Step back, long two, wala. Seven four PNP. Dito sa ating first quarter contra sa GSIS. Saracho picking up Manzali sa depensa. Manzali, nice dish, no good. Here's Santa Cruz with the leather. Santa Cruz nagbababa. Three against three, almost a travel para kay Santa Cruz. Kapahu dishes. And basket is good for Umiping. Wala Umiping has not exploded in the last two games para dito sa PNP. Looking to get untracked 
And once again, they show me scoring machine weights. 5.8 PNP, 9-4. Duyana has two of the four points. Itong uh, GSIS. Banzali yung isa pang nakapuntos. Para sa Furies. Sunga cutting. Hindi mabigyan ng bola. Banzali underneath. Naipit ang dalawang players. Just as the shot clock expired. And uh, no basket. Para sa GSIS, PNP, omiping. Alam mo, lamang pa ito sa AFP nung huli nilang laban eh. Kaya lang na napigil na yung running game nila, hindi na sila makadepensa sa half court. One against three, Banzali. I can say that was, that was not a good shot para dito sa Furies. Pero, tapyas ang kanilang uh, rotation, kulang ng isang mahusay na player. Sometimes you want to score early while the defense is not yet set. Omiping from outside. Ongutan battling for it against Sunga. That's a nice collision course between Sunga and Ongutan. The veteran Ongutan against the youngster. That's si Sunga. Bangkaan, ano? They're two big guys. Ball will stay with PNP. Kriste, hapasok para kay Ongutan. And si Mesola also coming in. For Santa Cruz. Oh, sorry, no, Santa Cruz is still there. Isola ang papalit kay Ungutan. And Kriste for Saracho. 9-4 is the PNP lead contra sa GSIS here in the first quarter. Parehong kopunan at 3 and 2 in the standings. And tulad ng naitanong ko sa'yo kanina, Coach Ronnie, it doesn't really matter, no? Kung sino manalo, matalo, pareho, pasok na. And it will not affect how they play yung position nila sa standings going into the second round. Well, importante, makakuha ka ng apat na panalo. That is one, one win better than the team that will lose today. And you will end up in the third spot marahil. So, ang talang matatalo will end up in the fourth. Well, initially, Positioning meaning, yung makakalaban mo sa kabilang round ang una. Oh, oh. Dahil pag pangapat ka, malahil ang harap mo sa second round. Agad yung top team ng uh, Group B. Nice catch by Kriste. On that pitch. Kabahog keeping it alive, Kriste. Ten on the shot clock para sa PNP. Santa Cruz, back to Kriste. Kriste for three. Wala. Itong si Julius Criste kasama ng Eric. Missed uh, a lot of games for them. At uh, nagbalik sa active duty dun lamang sa huli nilang laban. And in his absence, itong si uh, Japet Cabaog has really more than held his own. He has held the fourth para dito sa PNP. He has developed his uh, outside shooting. And has been the main guard together with Anton Tolentino to man the backcourt para sa PNP. Nice move by Manzali. One of the best one-on-one -on -one performers that we have. Does not really have a good three-point uh, range, but uh, one of the best in being crafty and manufacturing shots. Look at that move. Wow. Everything but the basket against Santa Cruz, but they get it back. Banzali drives. Banzali pulls up. Omiping, oh, tawagan ng foul. And Banzali has to do a lot of heavy lifting today para dito sa Furies. Right now, they are only 3 out of 8 for 6 points. Compared to the 60% of PNP at 6 out of 10. They okay. substitution dito. Both teams field in fresh legs on the floor. PNP in the driver's seat here, leading 13-6 at the first quarter. So, Banzali at the line for two. Furies have been uh, trying to catch up sa PNP since the start of the game. It was a 5 to nothing start for the responders led by Saracho and that three by Cabahu.
Triste to Tolentino, who's coming off the bench. Along with number uh, 26, as Yang Kiling. Yan si Yang Kiyang Kiling, ang enforcer. Lockdown defender ng responders. His designation is Police Officer 3. And you just saw on your screen si Elopre, Police Officer 3 din yan. Kristin Elopre, standing 6-1. Oh, nice fake para kay Sunga. But he dribbles the ball off his foot. And Sunga will see a lot of big men today in front of him. Ang haba ng rotation sa bigs para dito sa PNP. Nice catch. And an easy basket. Para kay Elopre. Seed stroke. You get better on the things that you emphasize and that you work on before the game is on. And this will be the third team foul para dito sa PNP. Ang bilis nung uh, crossover nitong si Manzali. Wala nang magawa si Kriste. Hindi pangkain na lang, coach. Wala ka talaga kung magagawa. Dahil pag hindi mo pinangga yan, ikaw ang babanggay niya. <laughs> Banzali now guarded by Tolentino. Butterfingers para sa GSIS. But they gather the ball right back. Another 24-second shot clock by Asian Dalawan. And contra sa GSIS. Normally, when you get one to... When you attempt to get back on track, not only they work on your offense. But more importantly, you focus on the defensive end. And this is exactly what we're seeing of the PNP responders. Executing better half court defense today, only allowing a total of uh, three made field goals in nine attempts for the GSIS. A oh, nice drive for number 14, James Abugan. 34 point game. UNTV Cup best for James Abugan in that critical victory versus the Firefighters last uh, Sunday. I said, you know, Sean, you know, the Biro you know, GSIS because of how solid. Saka tinambakan sila ng firefighters. Oh, oh. Nabol nila. Dahil 4 far sa itong si Abugan, third quarter pa lang. Pero nung bumalik siya, nakakompleto sila. Nabaliktad yung Agos sa laban. Magpapahinga si Hernandez uh, muna. And si Bunye will come in. Boy! What a quick contribution para kay Bunye off the bench. Sprightly, extremely clever. Wala pa sa game shape talaga itong si Julius Criste. Ngayon lang. Sumusubok talaga makabalik unti-unti. Dalawa nang nakaka kang ay blow pa isa kanya. Kanina si Banzali who he had to foul. And then si Bunyi then he had to commit a foul on. Lane violation is tawag sa PNP so isa pang free throw para kay Bunye pagkatapos imintis yung bonus GSIS flowing back slowly high arcing free throw para kay Bunye Dennis Bunye is a staff assistant uh, standing 5-7 corner shot para kay Tolentino wala lead pass to Bunye Bunye <laughs> but a tricky shot. Abugan, hindi mo masuk yung put back. Here comes Tolentino. Yang Kiling. Back to Tolentino. Tolentino passes out. Elopre. Riste. Quick ball movement to Tolentino. Yang Kiling open. Three on the way. Yang Kiling. No. And Kakakian with a rebound. Banzali looking for an opening against Tolentino. Difficult shot with the left hand. Tolentino, Riste. Easy layup. Kabila pa. Kaliwang pa ayaw kumakat. Kana niyo na layup. A wrong footing move coming from Riste. Earlier it was at 15-6. First basket after five points coming from the Furies. Bunyi, top shot with a hand in his face. Tolentino the rebound. Yakiling. They go to Riste. Open for three. Criste, eh, wala. Bunyi the rebound. Pilis ng pacing natin dito, Coach Ronnie. Ibang-ibaro sa first game natin, yeah. di ba? Kasi yung first game natin, ang habol ng isang team, ay eh, makashoot lamang. Dito talagang para makuha yung edge laban edge. sa kalapan. Oh. Banzali, what a kick out. Kakatyan. Banzali, the offensive rebound. To Abugan. Abugan is fouled by Yan Kiling. 19.3 seconds remaining. 
and so much action right. has happened. And slowly but surely, the Fury is inching closer. Yeah, it's a very good team. Perhaps. Talagang may handicap lang daw wala si Anthony Cuevas, so they are shorter. But still, they have about five or six good players in their form today. I guess the entire arsenal para dito sa PNP. Kriste uupo. As Abugan shoots his first free throw, Olan Umiping now comes back in para sa PNP. Medyo malaki tong lineup na to, Coach Ronnie. Ah. Uh, the bigs, si Elopre, si Yan Kiling, at si Misola. Dami niyan. And then, shooting guard mo si Umiping. Right. A timeout uh, called by PNP. 17-13, uh, responders over the Furies. Ang uh, GSIS plus 3 sa rebounds contra sa PNP. But PNP leading as Yan Kiling is fouled going down the baseline. May uh, itatawag dito, I think it's on Abugan. Both teams with five turnovers each. But PNP shooting much better. 500 or 50% from the field. Right. Samantalang 33% na ang GSIS. Yun na, unang team foul, Rick, ng GSIS. Eh? Oh. Muntik na matapos ang isang quarter na <laughs> That's true. kasi lang foul. Umiping. Guarded by Bunyi. Umiping. Wala. Almost. But almost is not good enough uh, when you talk about basketball. First quarter already in the books. BNP responders leading from the beginning until the end. 17-13 contra GSIS. 